Hey gamers, today we're going to look at Screwball Scramble Level 2. Let's check it out. Okay, so set up for this game couldn't be simpler. All you're doing is putting the dish in here and the little slide in here. They fit into those spaces and you are ready to play. So just like the original Screwball Scramble, you're going through all these little uh, challenges here. And each individual challenges you're trying to do within the time limit of one minute. Now, uh, you have the timer from the old game. You can stick it in right in here. I have an old version of the game, so it doesn't fit in the new version, but I'm guessing new versions of Screwball Scramble would fit with this one. Uh, it doesn't matter, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So what you're doing is you're running through these challenges and trying to do it within the time allowed. The first thing you have to do with these steps. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but the steps have to bounce one another, and you, you kind of seesaw between the two of them. But watch out, these have little divots in here that will run you right off the table. So for instance, Let's see if I can do it here. Oh, I did pretty good there. And nope, missed it. Okay, so this one takes a little bit getting used to, but after a while, you can, aha, get it up there. Now, once it goes there, the ball's gonna go down this slide and into this little maze that you're gonna turn around and twist around and try to find the opening from. And let me, you just move this one back and forth and back and forth all around the maze, getting it to the little opening where it comes up to the second slide right there. From there, this is really cool. Now this little corkscrew here, it's gonna push this little uh, metal ball around. As you see, it's pushing it up the little track there and you're trying to get it into those little holes at the bottom. Now if you go too fast, I probably won't do that, but if you go too fast, it'll just drop right in there and you'll have to start all over again. So speed isn't your friend in this game. Now this is just little hole punch ones. Oh, look at that. Uh, you just punch it up to all three levels and then punch it up here. Now this is where it gets really cool because then you just turn it backwards the other way and it's going to slip into the next challenge, which is kind of like a pinball here. So now I'm trying to do some shots and I'm trying to get it into that middle basket there. Now you're going to have to do this a couple of times just to get it just right. From there, you're going to shoot it up here into this bowl. Whoa, messed up there. So let me put it back in there. So I, wow, I've never missed twice on that. I've never missed once on that. So you put it in that bowl and it turns around. There, there's two holes that'll go down. Go down that hole, that's lucky. That means I go into this little twisty maze. But if it went down this other hole, I have to start aggravatingly enough all over again and climb the ball back up to this ball bearing here. And you gotta be careful because it will fall into this pit if you go too fast. Now, this is the only problem I have with the game because it is random which hole it goes into. And I've noticed that a lot of times, 75% of the time, it's gonna go into the bogus hole to make you start all over again. If it does that, forget about winning this game. You have zero chance chance. What you just saw happen there, that's the only time you'll have a chance to beat this game. Now this is like a little seesaw maze. You got to balance it out just right for it to go around there. If you don't, then it's going to just slide off to the side here because these walls are very little. And then this is from the challenge from the first one. You'll just press this button to hit the ball, uh, ding the ball, and then you stop your timer. If you can do that under the time, you've won the game. Really exciting game, really fun game, different challenges. Like I said, the only thing is this random thing here. I wish it just had one hole, this hole, you're never gonna win if it goes down the wrong hole. Now, the cool thing about this game is they added this to it. This can, add, can be placed right here on top of this. So if you wanted to combine the first and second game, which I am doing now, let me back it away here, you could, and you could run both tracks. Now you can also switch this around and do track number one first, you just stick it in here, because these fit into both of them, and it would land the ball right there and start the game. So either way you wanted to do it, you could combine both games and have a double game, which is just immensely fun. So for instance, instead of ringing the bell, it would go, right into the next level so you can play your regular or level two screwball scramble. Excellent addition to the game, absolutely love it. Final thoughts, what do I think about the game? Wow, um, this game came out I believe 41 years ago and now they're coming out with a sequel? This is incredible. Um, I remember when I first heard about uh, level two, a friend of mine, Luke from Down From The Attic, who hates ball bearing games. I mean, absolutely hates them. 
Uh, but he told me that they, I think we found out that together they came up with a sequel. Now, my nephews love Screwball Scramble, so I knew I had to get this, but it was only available in the UK. No, it's available on Amazon if you're living in the US, and it's 20 bucks. Great deal for this. Um, I told you the only thing I hate is the luck factor right here. Really sucks, and there's no way to win, absolutely no way to win this game if it goes down the wrong hole. There's no way. As good as you can get at all this, this takes time. You can't rush through that little screw there because it will drop the ball off. Now, I do like this. I think level two should be harder. This game is very hard. Um, so I do love it. I love how they have that connector that can connect both games. Absolutely love that. Now, I'm sad that my old, old vintage copy of Screwball Scramble can't you know, fit into this sign here because they basically change the dimensions. I really don't ha know why they would do that. You know, if something's not broke, don't, you know, if, uh, don't, try, don't try to fix it. But this game is really awesome. If you love Screwball Scramble, yes, you need to get this. Level 2 is awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, my nephews, this is probably going to be their number one game of the year. <laughs> um, uh, and it just came out uh, just about a few months ago, but yeah, already my nephews were like screaming when they saw it because it's so much fun. And it is a fun one. It's a little bit different. I absolutely love it. Should they make a Screwball Scramble 3? Yes, absolutely. Take my money any day. All right, gamers, that's all the time I have for now. Until next time, game on.